You are watching, though, at least one of Rugby League's most disciplined sides. And that's not detracting from Balmain. Here's Growth. Growth. Still going. Finds Kenny. Kenny gets it to Cronin. Cronin to Ella. Ella's inside the 32. He picks up Hunt. And Hunt is tackled just outside the quarterway line. Electric football. Back to Taylor. They use the blind. Cronin. Cronin is tackled. 15 metres out from the Balmain line. He'll play it back to Ray Price. Taylor calls the play. It's gone to Mosley. Mosley to Laurie. And Laurie is tackled about 13 metres away from the Balmain line. Balmain short on numbers on the blind. Here they come to the blind. It's with Neil Hunt. Turns it inside for Ray Price. And Price takes them on. He's tackled 11 metres out from the Balmain line. Mosley is the acting half. Sterling decides to chip. He'll score, Sterling. Yes, it's a try. It's a try adjacent to the uprights for the little fellow. Peter Sterling. Well, if anybody had any doubts about Parramatta throwing down the gauntlet to the three big guns in this semi final playout, then I think those uh, doubts have been totally erased with some of their football here today. Billy Anderson. Well, for the second time today, Parramatta were quick to seize upon an opportunity to kick the ball in goal from close range. The first time it was Paul Taylor, this time he's look-alike Peter Sterling. So easy it was for Peter Sterling. Well, there he is, the Parramatta 7, Peter Sterling. The man whose name, I suppose, has been forgotten mostly because this year as far as awards are concerned his absence for the major part Cronin picks up the extra two and that's that's the ball game 22 to 4 in favor of Parramatta